applets. So what are applets? Applets are Java application which can run on web browsers as well as applet viewer. So it can run on web browser and applet viewers. So it is a kind of full applications or full Java programs which you can run on either web browser or applet viewer. So um, there are two types of applets. One is AWT based. AWT is abstract window toolkit. And the second one is swings based. Here J applet class is used in swing based applets. AWT it is the first version or this is how applets were introduced while the first word in the first version of Java. And we are going to follow this abstract based window toolkit only. For the time being, Swings will study in the next tutorial. So there are two ways of deploying a applet uh, application. One is through JNLP Java Network Launch Protocol. This is used for making internet applications, internet based applications and the second is through HTML5. This is how it was first introduced in uh, Java applications. After that this protocol was used for making internet applications. Uh, the Oracle recommends to use applet tag. applet HTML tag but, but nowadays object tag is also used this both are actually same but uh, in our programs we'll use the applet tag and before starting in Java before writing a normal Java applications to make it an applet first of all you have to add a comment at the starting of the pro your program something like applet code my applet you have to give the width say as 300 and height 150 you close and you have to close this applet tag and you have to close the comment tag. This is the first thing you have to do while writing a Java application for applet. Now the next, th next thing is applet class. This applet class extends panel panel class which is actually awt class panel now this panel extends container this container extends components so you can see it is a multi-level hierarchy and uh, this applet class will have the properties of panel class, container class and component class. Now this applet class some methods are predefined like uh, destroy, start, stop, initialize and uh, like get code base and many other like this. We'll see each of them when we study more about it and uh, this is how this applet class will study in the 
rest of this tutorial. Now, applet architecture. There are main two things to notice about a applet architecture. First, it is event driven. Applets are event driven. And the second thing, the user initiates interaction. Initiates the interaction. Now, what is event? Suppose there is a window and you have a text field and you have a button. So, when you go and click over this button, you are make, creating an event. You are going and typing something here in this text box, you are creating an event. You are moving your cursor over this area, you are creating an event. There are thousands of types of events present in Java where you have a button click, on button hover, on button select. There are many types of events just related to all the objects of graphical user interface present in Java. This is known as event. And for each type of event, there is an event handler. Suppose you are clicking on this button and for this button an event handler is defined which says close or exit this window. Then when you click this button, the window will be closed. That means you are making an event and which is calling an event handler which is doing some task. This is how applet architectures work. Now in normal console program, uh, normal program which adds to number, what it will say when you start the program, now it will ask enter a number then you will enter and then it will proceed next enter another number and the sum but here everything is different you have to go and click on a button to start the event which will make a or uh, not only clicking on a button but any other event which will in turn start the program applet skeleton or the basic applet structure You have some basic methods which needs to be called if you are using a applet. The first is initialize or init. Then when you have initialized, you need to start your applet. Then you have function paint. This paint method or function is generally used to fill data or to fill audio, image or many other graphical user interface or simple text in the applets. Then you have stop and the final you have destroy. This is the basic skeleton of a applet. You need to declare these methods for making an applet. And then you have some additional methods which are repaint update this repaint and update as you can as from the name you can see this update method generally calls this repaint method and this repaint method using this repaint method you can change the content of your applets then you have some display methods here you will learn draw string set background set foreground get background and get foreground There is no return type for draw string. Similarly, void for set background and set foreground. 
and here you will receive an object of class color. In draw string, you will what you will pass as parameter. The first thing is you will pass a message, which will have a data type as string. Then you will pass the uh, position in x and y axis coordinate. X and y axis coordinate. So int x and int y. So setting the background, you will pass a object of class color. And for getting there is no need of passing this parameter in the next video we'll see how to write the programs for applets